In this video, we're going to learn about escape characters in Python. So escape characters are sometimes called escape sequences, and they're essentially a sequence of characters in a string that allow us to output special characters or output characters in a special way. Escape sequences start with the backslash character, and the characters in an escape sequence don't match exactly what is output. So for example, one commonly used escape character is the new line character, which represents a new line. That character is represented with backslash n. So backslash n looks like two characters, backslash followed by n, but really it's actually one character. It's called the new line character. So if we have here print and then line one, backslash n, line two, this is going to output a new line in between line one and line two. That's going to have the effect of having the text line two start on the next line of the terminal. So if we save this and run a program, we get line one followed by line two. We can also put a tab character in a string using backslash t. So backslash t is the tab character. So if we have print and then before tab and then backslash t after and we save our program and run it, we get before tab and then this gap and then after. There's also a special backspace character that has the effect of moving the cursor back one space. So backslash b is the special backspace character. If we have something like this, print some text in a string and we save our program and run it, we get here some text in a string. What if we put a backspace character right here? What this is going to do is move the cursor back one space to here. And this T will then be overwritten by this next character in the string here, the space. So let's save our program and try it out. And now we get some text in a string. That T is no longer there because it's been overwritten. If we had a couple more backspace characters here, we could see the effect. We could save our program and run it. And now we get some T in a string. And what's happened here is that with three backspace characters, the cursor has been moved back three times to here, to this T and then the remainder of the string is output and it overwrites these characters here. So that is the backspace character. Now a good question to ask at this point is how can we actually output a backslash character given that we're using it for these special purposes? So for example, what if we want to output the string lions backslash tigers backslash bears? We could save our program and run it and look at this output. It looks pretty funny. And that's because backslash T has been interpreted as a tab and backslash B has been interpreted as a backspace. If we actually want to output a backslash character, we could use backslash backslash, and this will actually give us a backslash character. So here we could have lions backslash backslash and tigers backslash backslash. And this will actually give us backslash characters here. So we can save our program and run it. And now we do get lions backslash tigers backslash bears. Now there's also a carriage return character, which will return the cursor to the beginning of the current line. So for example, backslash R is the carriage return character. If we have print and then writing old text and then new text and we save our program and run it right now we'll get writing old text and then new text but if we put right here backslash r what that's going to do is return the cursor to the first character in this line here and new text is going to overwrite these characters here so if we save our program and run it. 
Now we get this new text, old text. And what's happened is the characters after the carriage returned character are now overwriting characters at the beginning of this line of text. Now we're using the double quote character to begin and end our string. What if we actually want to have a double quote character in our string? Again, we can use the backslash character. We can have backslash double quote. So for example, backslash double quote will give us a double quote. So if we have print and then a backslash double quote inside a string, if we save our program and run it, we get a double quote inside a string. Now, without this backslash character here, normally a double quote will end the string. And you can see with the syntax highlighting that this would be a problem. So we can put a backslash character in front of a double quote character if we actually want to have the double quote character in our string. Now in Python, strings can also begin and end using a single quote character. So for example, print, and we could have a inside a string. These single quote characters here can also be used to create this string. If we want to output a single quote character inside this string, we do it the same way. We put a backslash in front of it. So backslash single quote will give us a single quote character. So backslash single quote here will give us a single quote inside a string. If we save our program and run it, we see that we do get a single quote inside a string. Now in Python and in computing in general, characters are represented with numbers. So for example, the character uppercase A is represented with the number 65 in the ASCII or UTF-8 encodings. Where these encodings are responsible for mapping numbers to characters, now 65 is what's called a base 10 number. It's a number represented using a base 10 number system with the digits from zero to nine. There are other ways of representing numbers. So for example, binary numbers are represented only with zero and one. There are octal numbers, which have eight digits, and there are hexadecimal numbers, which have 16 digits. There is an escape sequence which allows us to provide an octal number, and the result will be the character associated with that number. So backslash followed by octal digits will give us the character associated with that number. So if we have print and then car colon and then backslash 101, the base 10 number 65 is represented as an octal number using 101. If we save our program and run it, we get here care colon uppercase A, and that's because 101 is really the base 10 number 65, and that is the character uppercase A. There's a similar escape sequence for hexadecimal numbers. So if we have backslash X followed by some hexadecimal digits, this will do the same thing, but for hexadecimal numbers. So we could have here print and then car colon and then backslash X followed by four one. So the base 10 number 65 is represented as a hexadecimal number with four one. So again, if we save our program and run it, we get the character uppercase A. Now there's also the form feed character backslash F. So backslash F is the form feed character. We could have print page one backslash F page two. We could save our program and run it. And we'll get this page one and then page two on the next line. The form feed character was traditionally used as a page break character to direct the printer to eject the current page and continue printing at the top of the next page. Sometimes the form feed character is still used in source code files to mark page breaks or sections of code. 
So this is how we can use escape characters in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.